Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice for me. So stubborn, Captain Blaskovitz. He's a good trait, mine. Anya, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way! William! Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? Oh, gosh, there's a chance to show Hold us. him in, put your hands in! Oh, God, that's not good. Get him in the helicopter! Come on! Blessing. To have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like that. Amate, we are out. Fire! Yes, madam! He's bleeding out! Go faster! Oh. And the great warmth washing over me. Tao. I think the sky is on fire. He's dying. Caroline, he's dying! He's turning blue! Babate, we'll need a gurney at the hangar bay. ETA 19. Death at the gates again. Howling my name. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. <laughs> Zeker maar Lani, kalt af. Let me show you something, Billy. My father told me, if I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. Oh, shit. It must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Mother. Am I acquitted? Was a righteous and just, good enough to witness the awe of heaven. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no, mother, I'm going to hell. Pull, pull, Bob Oh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines off. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay, Vizas Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, let me anyone for to give blood. Now! Everyone, we need blood donors right now. You listening? Line up here by the sick bay. Double time. They brought you, yeah. Fierce! Oh, I need light! Stay down, keep quiet. He's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way! He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <coughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Shut down the business when my father told you to. You are behind in everything. <laughs> 
Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not, will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth. Boy, shut it for you. <coughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you. I figured your father would be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise the boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away! <laughs> Make me sick to look at you. Get your ass over here. Nah. Keep them coming, candy ass. Can't throw worth a shit. That all you got, boy? You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. The Kreisau Circle is rising. I will need you by my side. And we make our move. Can you feel the kicking? Bessie, dinner time. Yeah. yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! little runt of a boy and stupid to boot in that brick head of yours. Shoot her! Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began. Quick, 
Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya, to see you out of there. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, sir. Ingrid. You know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You, 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 you might have difficulties to, to, to urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau England, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth, and today she found you. The Nazis reached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the others. I have to go. No. No, Hackman is the Chinese. I told you no. Said, help me find the sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. Now, there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map to show you where the traps are. Put them to good use for the fascist. Uh, okay, be careful. Try not to get killed if you don't mind. Off you. Says we're having twins. Not now, Kinderlach. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuzerei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. Oh, hold on, William. Spare the life of every one of you! 
Saga got called out. Don't go into William. Well, they have our people. She trapped our vessel, Anjka. What can we do? You write me. We'll have to somehow release our u boat once you're after that. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. to run us over with your little wheelchair? Your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich. Sieh dir auf den Krüppel! Let me tell you. You're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. <laughs> Look, everybody! <laughs> is, <laughs> is, is this how a hero looks like? <laughs> a crippled wretch of a man being in a tomb! <laughs> Everyone will see what a useless joke you are. Lost, lost. Silly. The resistance does not bow. Mutter! Sigun! Sei still! Ich arbeite! Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber du hast gesagt, dass Aber du sie hast... hast gesagt! Du machst deine Leibesübung und du verzichtest auf den Zucker! Was haben meine Männer in deinem Zimmer gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in dein Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. Nimm. Nimm! Ach schon, befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Lenk dich ab! Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen.
You're just another... Bunch of it!
Look! We have a strategy! Caroline had a plan! Now, to liberate the United States of America! To free the U.S. and use it as a platform to liberate the rest of the world! And this is what we are going to do! For Caroline! And what about this one? Can we trust her? Hello. G give her a chance, I guess. I, she saved my life. She saved Captain Blaskowitz, too. Now... Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance group in New York City. Now, we need to Do you find allow this blacks on board? To our cause. We need to make <gasps> oh my god. How did that man get in here? No. Everyone is allowed on this boat. Despite Except Nazis. A bona fide war again. There you go, Mr. That's right. Mark. And our first priority is to set course for New York. And. Them's charges! <laughs> Section F. But there is no section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there's no door there. Now what if there is? What if someone is hiding in there transmitting that signal, huh? Cap, you assemble a team and investigate. I'll show you the way. Must be here. Move this locker. Shot from the other side. Here come it. Take this. Wyatt came up with a basic concept. The design is not ay ay ay. It's experimental, but it will be very useful. Does this end kill Nazis? Ah, uh, enthusiastically so. Not sure it will. I will open this when you are done, big man. <laughs> I just... Look, I couldn't do it, okay? It's too much. Caroline meant more to me than anybody else on this damn ship, and now everyone is expecting me to pick up the torch. All right? Hey, I mean, look at me, man. I can't even find a pair of headphones. All right, I failed the leadership course at Harvard, for Pete's sake. I know I put them in here for somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh! Hey, will this ringing not stop, for Christ's sake? can't give up, Why? We don't do that. I'm not stupid, Captain. I saw the look in your eye up there when Frau Angle had you under her thumb. All right, the fire is gone out, and you are just on autopilot now until you hit the wall. 
Am I wrong, Captain? Oh, thank God. I, uh... I salvaged some stuff at Jay's, you know, from the old Berlin hideout. Some old recordings and things, just, um, just for keepsake. That boy could play the hell out the guitar, huh? Captain, would you go see Seth? He wants to give you a, a physical or something, you know, just, just see how you're doing. I think he's in his workshop. This is not a thing, Simpson. This is not a thing. This is this is the body of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese cat. Shoshana, look at this. He's not gonna do anything to you. He's a good man. You see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. A few months later, she was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskovich, lower your ex. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column. She's OK. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuitry. Okay, I get it. Spare me the size, Mumbo Jumbo. What am I doing? I'm like an old cotch cake who had such a long day, and I'm... I'm sorry. Let's see. You want something for the sleeping guy? No. No, I just need to keep busy. Distractions. Uh, no, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways, but... I have a perfect distraction for you. Here you go. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigan in there. So, I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there and destroying the drone? And, uh, Feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. No, just, just come back, give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay? Okay, I'll have a look. I appreciate it. Thank you. What's up, Cap? I reviewed Caroline's notes. The New York City Resistance Group is concealed at the top of the state building. It said? Yes. I assume the high altitude means the radiation is at tolerable levels? Yes. However, we, we can simply fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're going to be shot down. Can we reestablish contact, let them know that we're coming? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Well, we'll have to approach from ground level. No. Introduce ourselves face to face. Ground level? I mean, the whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Well, <clears throat> this one, this armor will protect from all radiation. Guess you're going this one alone. Yeah. What else is new? Mbate, can you give him a ride? Easy. Sure, boss. Can I have... <laughs> Five degrees out, and sun continues straight forward. Got it, Blondie. 
Hey, big fan. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles? It's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. But no, I'm from Texas. make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you saying? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? When you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig, then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now, you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? He looked like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! Oh, Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Oh, lady. Oh. I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, it's got a sick sense of humor. Uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. He got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fats? Chicken fats? <laughs> that's, that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh, I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Get <laughs> out. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time. And I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams echoing through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? You... Shit. That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. 
Why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of badassery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them, coming up the stairs. They're like a fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white ass fascist Nazi pig. Caroline. Motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. God, I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. Nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit! Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right! <laughs> What do you think about this, Mandrake? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. Well, well, well. So this is where all the decisions are made. We're gonna need a place to sleep nearby. This room looks empty. Super Smash! Hey, white boy, I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Heck yes. What's up, boss? We sleeping in here. Got it, sister. All right, listen up, people. White boy here is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around, find a place to bunk, get to know the boat folk. And hey, best behavior, you dig? This way. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. 
Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? Yep. Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Grace, I found the nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set, was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. And the longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, oh, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Sashi, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Now the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blaskowitz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas won his mission ready, all right? Not being there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. And don't give up, William. Because I will never, ever give up on you, no matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just got to keep going. For as long as I can. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, ma'am. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass up through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little storm man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, okay? Max, hot. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? See, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max Hoss. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <laughs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of newts, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Oh, right on, boss. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool, all right. 
Hot dick. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jürgen. One of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Command. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know, stuff? This is your German, dear. You'll need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, my Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. Then he made the atom bomb. Then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. Oh, wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will we ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? Hold your horses. Sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place... Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Man, what'll it be? We're about to close, oh, it, It's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz, Speci knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. Look, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> 
Hmm. Now you. Show me your identification papers. Please. Oh. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Kommandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with a mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Smash? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Ah. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined out the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah, pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place... So we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. And Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. 
Up here, the, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, there's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. No, okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talked to How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. All right. Now... You should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey. Stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account the they used to keep all colored to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more, and that's why I can't use a good restroom at the 
there, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard, then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began. I can tell anyone. Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. I think you're very handsome, and I like you. your property they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left now i gave you that pocket knife it was in your care it's your responsibility i will speak to their parents you will do no such thing sophia oh you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you are you boy now you go on out there and take back what's yours and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do <laughs>
place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Pawnee Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall. Coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts. Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. You run off to the army as soon as you come of age. You broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? Now, what happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing.
Not my problem, it says on. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer, that pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, and I'm popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, Bonnie and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Just fucking gagged and all you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. Can we make it that far? The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Gott! Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen. 
Weil ich nicht davor vorspreche. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfer, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich. Und open your mouth. Open. Open it. That's it. How does it taste? and destruction of public and private property, aiding the enemy, torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad, and high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil, and it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death! Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! <laughs> Bailiff! Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful, and some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? Most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. I... They're not born yet. I... I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. One more hardship. Bailin! Oh. 
warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. in seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. Marks for button. Grab it! I'm not mad. Hurry. Three seconds. We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. Transport! generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Angela! Kindle, please, I'm a Nazi soldier. Please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working. But I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one. Blink twice for the one in the middle. Blink three times for that over there. OK, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon.
Set? Set! I'm awake. I'm not asleep. I'm got and you got and you got and you got and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. <sighs> Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzel? Where's to get Jane? Where's to get Jane? Shim Shim. I keep the Shim Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yankala. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. This, no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation. Not to worry. It's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body. Something like this. Before we arrive at New Orleans, mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? Rescue me. Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Spare said. Mm. Hey. Mm. You never answered my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? You are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like nobody came with it. It's true. But it, oh. Got in you. Got in you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. 
have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll talk. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blasco. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there, so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now, before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. Oh, and Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because, first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Grace! Grace! Son of a motherfucker, don't waste Abby or I'll break your idiot neck! I got you, then a warrantless dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. Another 
billionaires, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Der <laughs> Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of terror villains. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play terror villain? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For a long time, I heard through the grapevine about this resistance leader named Horton. Horton? Horton. Ton. Yeah? Windowsill. Umbrella. And Horton. Yeah. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our calls, you dig? Now, it ain't gonna be easy. The Nazis built this great fucking wall around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them. Because we got something else. I'm sorry. Did you need this boat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Wyatt will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. Now listen, Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we're gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You've got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Cry South Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. 
Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, say tear her belly, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. Oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerest men in Marble Mansion. Well, I've seen through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. Yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or oh, they'll lead right through. This'll get you drunk, Terry Belly. You upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <laughs> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die, or step the fuck up. Ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired to fight. Too tired. Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some wires, that about it. He's quick learning, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit.
good friend, but too damn big. Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Then make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we're gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer first, lady. So then we mount a surprise attack conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. Well, hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Oberkommando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Oberkommando on Venus. Venus, the planetary body, Venus in space, man. It is cold. Up there, you're gonna need radioactive mittens. Mittens, nigga! Okay, we're just gonna fly there. We are gonna load up, and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh man, we're just gonna take our choppers, but instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space with the mind, you know? Then we're gonna drop you off on Venus. You're gonna break into the Ober Commando, and you are gonna steal those Odin secrets from their computing machines. So, I might have a plan too? Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown. Anya, what you think? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. <sighs> How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember. You are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. 
Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. I'll, uh, mind my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come. Audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile. Be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Leave the pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. Wow. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I thought about theater. How am I supposed to remember this shit? I'm gonna write this down. Stage, in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. I'll murder your dirty race. I will murder your dirty race too. Oh, come on, Johnny. Hey. <laughs> Better than this. <clears throat> I'll murder. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I will murder your dirty race. Oh, Jesus, you moron. Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist! Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und besser konnten wir nicht finden! Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich! Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir... Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schmeck. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie, mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Sie kommen immer wieder. Wölfe im Schafspelz. Inspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie 
mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William, oh, Josef, oh, Platzkowitsch. Oh. Helene, mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeiler, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! Um Gottes Willen. Ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Sie spielen die Szene. Helene, zusammen mit Ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race too. Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen sie die Rolle. Füllen sie, füllen sie, füllen sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. Then you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Oh, mein Gott. Mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. 
Blaskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? We will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places and action. <coughs> oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh, God, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I, I need a doctor. Line. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, what? Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God, you. Ah! 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 Why? Mr. Redfield, please, the floor is yours. Mr. Redfield, would you step into the box? Und, action! Dann mach es mal richtig, du... Pass auf, wenn du zu handgreiflich wirst, dann werde ich dir wehtun. you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Because that's all you're getting. Wunderbar! Wunderbar! Have you das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle! Oh, er wird mein Platz gewinnen! Oh Gott! Er ist mehr als perfekt! Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? Navigationssysteme beschädigt. Nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallauswurf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3. 2, 1.
are the emergency lights on? Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? No, I said. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast Quits. It's gone missing. Blazkowicz, you have to track him down. I still have to get my shit together for the mission. Come on! We've been looking whole night, but we can't find him anywhere. You have to find him before we move out. Okay. I 
just need to get a little bit of sleep. An hour, okay? Oh. Hey, Paris Jack. So you seen Wyatt around? I uh, saw him late last night. He was not doing well. Gosh, Paris. Oh, your music is like liquid gold dripping into my ear, man. Just dripping. Where'd you learn to play like that? The streets of New Orleans were alive with music. You carried the gift and the music would just slip into your bloodstream. I'm mastering that gift, playing without ever hitting a single bluey. And that took practice. Years and years of practice. And a bucket load of discipline. I learned to play the clarinet back at school. The only thing they teach you in school is how to be a good slave to the system, son. Musically or otherwise. Man, I'm... Well, yeah, your music, man, it's like cosmic. It's like riding on space winds. It's like really messing with my mind, you know? And it makes me feel... Uh, it makes me feel a bit uh, nauseous, actually. Oh! oh! Yourself, son. What? I seen you partake when you think nobody's watching. It's cool, man. I mean, I'm exploring. I'm just widening my horizons with the mind, you know? You ain't built for it. Jeez. You don't understand, Paris. You can't presuppose what I understand. This is about the universe. I mean, this is important. There are things that I need to make sense of. Son. The only thing in this universe that makes sense is the sweet sound of music. You don't get it, man. So, you saw him walking toward the shooting range. Mm-hmm. Looked like he was heading for a trip. Uh, thanks. The little guy died this morning. He didn't eat his cheese. Starved to death. So it goes. Wyatt. Huh? You. I'm talking to you, Wyatt. Oh, the kid. Yeah, he's not here anymore. He went looking for the truth, but he didn't like what he found. Look, uh, you're talking crazy, man. You gotta get with the program. We need you. We're moving out. Come on, Wyatt. Kid's father had his future all staked out for him. Ivy League straight to the top of congressional power. Got him off when he joined the military. Ungrateful brat, he called. Kid's mother fell into a depression in that big dark house. Same day the kid shipped off for Europe, she swallowed a bottle of pills. And that was it. How was that? Well, I'm gonna take you to Sen. He's gonna fix you right up. You're, you're just a little confused, is all. Come on now. <sighs> no, 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 why? Buddy, remember? He saw perfect patterns. Swallowing branches of a great tree. The all-knowing space entity at the center gazing upon him. Uh, uh, the kid is approaching the apex of the universe. Uh, but it all slipped away. <laughs> and a colossal black trench opened up, swallowing the colors, and the kid couldn't see anything except for a trans-dimensional gaping wall, swallowing his soul. Oh, nothing matters anymore, man. Oh, sunset for humanity. <laughs> Tell him that he's sorry. Tell him, tell him that he loved him. Oh, shit. What's wrong with him? Uh, heavy 
dosage of psychedelics. Now listen to this. Back in the days of Das Yichid, we used similar substances many times. Never, ever, anyone had the clarity of vision that Vlad has. It's remarkable. Will he be okay? Well, uh, I'm flushing his system right now. You should be fine. Is this some kind of a doorknob set? No, 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 jingle and note. What did you say? What? Don't ever forget who you are, man. Don't forget who we are. Don't forget what we are, soldier. I feel much better now, Cap. Back in my own body. You realize you're still wearing your party hat? <laughs> I had to, uh... I had to punch you out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember that. Needed it, I guess. Doorknob, he says. Hey, why? My brothers and sisters, check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Aus Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Hep Leskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are gonna find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace! out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again! I am not a Nazi! You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us.
done with this. Shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. We'll keep the show running. Let's turn it off. Feeling it, General? Doom is coming. of the United States of America. Don't listen to that lying bitch. These Nazi fucks are all gonna get what's coming to them tonight. We are not gonna take it anymore. Do it. Americans. Americans. Wherever you are. I wish I had words of comfort to give you like the warm winds that this Nazi general sent down from above. But for me, you will not get comfort. Only the cold, agonizing truth. And the truth is this great nation has been raped and pillaged by the greatest enemy of our time. They ask you to sell your liberty, to purchase your safety, to kneel to the new order, to submit to the winds of change. But my fellow Americans, they that sow the wind 
shall reap the whirlwind. Preach. You were born in the land of the free. You fought the kings of old and broke them. You gave your lives for the simplest but most essential truth of all. Give me liberty or give me death. In your veins runs the blood of revolutionaries. So tonight, brandish your guns, your knives, and your fists. Seek out your oppressors wherever they are and tell them we don't want nothing, not a thing from you. Tonight, we show those that sow the wind that we, we are the whirlwind. We're not gonna take it! Did I do okay? <laughs> Fucking A, Wyatt, you were great. I was nervous, could you tell? <laughs> Shit, yeah. But that's okay. Here we go. You make me strong and weak at the same time. Will you marry me? Oh, William. All right, Blaskowitz, while the guy's off kicking ass and revolutionizing, you and I are gonna type some loose ends by taking out any Uber commanders left on the board. Yeah, get on the Enigma machine and the war map and do your thing. I'll be your comm support. Come on, let's pave the way for our people on the ground. <laughs> 